This is the charging and discharging a capacitor lab. In this experiment, you will be investigating the properties of a capacitor as it is charged and discharged in an RC circuit. Use a multimeter to determine the resistance and capacitance values of the resistors and capacitor provided. Note that you can plug these resistors and the capacitor directly into the meter. Your capacitor may be too large to be measured with the multimeter, in which case you should go by the manufacturer's value and assume an appropriate uncertainty. Next, you'll need to set up the circuit as shown in the manual. Connect the voltage source to the positive terminal on the circuit box. Attach one of the resistors and the capacitor to the circuit box as shown. Then connect the minus terminal to the voltage source. As well, remember to connect the GLX to the voltage sensor and put its terminals across the capacitor. To prepare the GLX for data collection, you'll need to turn on the GLX and press the home button. Then use the arrow keys to highlight the data files menu and press the check mark. Press F4 to open the file menu and select a new file. Press the home button on the GLX. Press F1 to select the graph option. A graph of voltage versus time should then appear. Press home and navigate to the table option and press select. If the table that appears does not display voltage and time, press select and scroll over to select the correct options. Then press home and select graph. You are now ready to start collecting data. Start with the switch set to discharge and turn on the voltage supply. You will then need to simultaneously set the switch to charging and press play on the GLX in order to collect your data. A graph of voltage versus time will then appear on the screen. You may want to press the auto scale button for convenient viewing. After some time, the graph will approach the saturation voltage indicating that the capacitor is fully charged. When this happens, press play again to stop collecting data. Simultaneously switch to discharging and press play on the GLX. This will start collecting data in a second run. Don't wait too long to do this in order to avoid the capacitor leaking some of its voltage. Again, the auto scale button is your friend. When the capacitor has lost most of its voltage, press play again to stop collecting data. To extract your data from the GLX, press home and then go to data files. Insert a USB drive and press left twice to return to the device's memory. Press down to select the current file. Press F4 and select copy file. Press right twice and select the USB drive. You have now copied the file to your USB drive. You'll still need a little work to prepare your data for Excel. Open the file on a computer with Data Studio. Press file then export data. You can export an individual run by clicking on it or you can export each run to a separate file by clicking on the heading. Select a file name, and if you selected multiple runs, it will increment for each run. The resulting text files may be opened in Notepad or simply dragged and dropped into Excel. Thanks for watching the Charging and Discharging a Capacitor experiment. We hope you have the capacity to write a good lab report, because otherwise you'll be discharged from the course.